Story one. It was a dark and stormy night. The rain was coming down in sheets, and the wind was howling like a banshee. I was working as a food delivery driver, and I was currently on my way to deliver a pizza to a house on the outskirts of town. I had never been to this house before, and I was starting to get a bad feeling about it. The street was deserted, and the house was dark and imposing. I pulled up to the curb and got out of my car. I knocked on the door, but there was no answer. I knocked again, louder this time. Still no answer. I was starting to get really creeped out. I decided to try the doorknob. It was unlocked, so I slowly opened the door and stepped inside. The house was dark and silent. I could hear the wind howling outside, and the only light came from the street lamps outside. I called out, Hello? Is anyone home? There was no answer. I took a few steps into the house, and my heart started to race. I felt like I was being watched. I turned around and saw a figure standing in the doorway. It was a tall, thin man, and he was wearing a long black coat. His face was hidden in the shadows, but I could see his eyes. They were glowing red. I froze. I couldn't move. The man took a step towards me, and I screamed. I turned and ran out of the house, slamming the door behind me. I jumped in my car and sped away, not even looking back. I drove for hours until I was sure that I wasn't being followed. I never went back to that house, and I never told anyone what happened, but I still think about it sometimes. I wonder what would have happened if I hadn't run away. What would that man have done to me? I'll never know for sure but I'm glad I'm alive. And I'm never going to deliver food to a house on a dark and stormy night again. Story two. In the quiet, dimly lit town of Ravensbrook, nestled deep within the woods, there was a legend whispered among its residents. It told of a cursed food delivery driver known only as the Midnight Rider. No one knew his real name, for he only appeared after the clock struck midnight his eerie silhouette emerging from the mist. One fateful Friday night, Sarah, a young woman living alone, found herself craving her favorite pizza from Bruno's Pizzeria. She placed an order through the app and impatiently waited, scrolling through her phone to pass the time. The clock struck midnight, and Sarah's phone chimed with a notification. Your delivery is on its way. Expecting a friendly, familiar face, she peeked through her window, but there was no sign of the usual Bruno's delivery car. Instead, a sinister, shadowy figure loomed at the end of her driveway. Fear clawed at her chest as she watched the figure draw nearer. The midnight rider had arrived. His presence sent shivers down her spine, and a sense of unease filled the room. She had heard the stories, but she never believed them until now. The doorbell rang with a piercing, echoing chime. Sarah hesitated, but knew she couldn't ignore the delivery. She slowly opened the door, revealing a tall, gaunt man draped in a tattered cloak. His face was obscured by the shadows of his hood. Your pizza, ma'am, he rasped, his voice like dried leaves rustling in the wind. Sarah cautiously accepted the pizza box handing him the money with trembling hands. As she closed the door, she couldn't help but wonder about the strange, otherworldly aura surrounding the Midnight Rider. Before taking a bite, she noticed the pizza had an unusual odor, a putrid scent that made her stomach churn. She thought about calling the pizzeria to complain, but decided against it, fearing the repercussions. Maybe it was just a one-time mistake. As she took her first bite, she realized the horrifying truth. The pizza tasted like no other pizza she had ever eaten. It was a sickening mixture of rotting flesh and decay, making her gag and wretch. Panicked, she tried to spit out the vile substance, but it clung to her tongue like a curse. Desperation took hold as she rushed to the sink to wash out her mouth, but even the water couldn't cleanse the foul taste. In her terror, she glanced out the window 
and saw the Midnight Rider still lurking in the darkness. His hooded figure seemed to be watching her, mocking her misery, frantic. Sarah dialed 911, but her call was met with eerie silence on the other end. The line was dead, trembling. She realized she was trapped in a nightmare. With each passing minute, the taste of the cursed pizza grew stronger, seeping into her very soul. Sarah knew she had to escape, but the Midnight Rider stood between her and freedom. The hours passed, and Sarah's world descended into madness. The cursed pizza consumed her, body and soul, as she became yet another victim of the legend of the legend of the Midnight Rider, lost forever in the chilling depths of Ravensbrook's cursed woods. To this day, the legend lives on, and those who dare to order food past midnight in Ravensbrook can only pray they never encounter the Midnight Rider and his malevolent deliveries. Story 3 It was a gloomy Friday night in the quiet town of Ravensbrook, hidden away deep within the enigmatic woods, where secrets whispered through the trees. Among these secrets, a legend was shared in hushed voices about a cursed food delivery driver known only as the Midnight Courier. A known only as the Midnight Courier, our tale begins with Sarah, a solitary soul yearning for the comfort of her favorite pizza from Bruno's Pizzeria. As the clock struck midnight, she placed her order, unaware of the ominous destiny that awaited her. Midnight arrived, and Sarah's heart quickened as she peered through her window. Instead of the familiar Bruno's delivery car, a shadowy specter emerged from the mist. It was none other than the Midnight Courier. Fear, like an unwelcome guest, crept into her heart. She had heard the whispers of the Midnight Courier, but skepticism had been her shield until that very moment. The doorbell's chime sliced through the silence, sending tremors down her spine. Hesitant but compelled, she opened the door to the spectral figure, the Midnight Courier's voice. Like wind through a desolate forest, delivered her pizza. An oppressive presence hung in the air as she handed him the payment. As the door closed, dread enveloped her. She unwrapped the pizza box, but the scent that wafted from it was far from savory. Putrid, like decay and death, intertwined. With each bite, the vile taste clung to her tongue, a grotesque concoction that defied explanation. Desperation clawed at her, and she tried to cleanse her mouth, but the taste persisted, like a curse that refused to be broken. Her panicked call to 911 was met with eerie silence. The line dead. She realized she was trapped in a nightmare, and the midnight courier watched, a silent sentinel of her torment. Hours turned into eternity as the cursed pizza devoured her, body and soul. Sarah became one with the legend of the midnight courier lost forever in the cryptic embrace of Ravensbrook's haunted woods. Story 4 It was a dark and stormy night in the small town of Hollowbrook. The rain fell in thick sheets and the wind howled through the narrow streets. Thunder rumbled in the distance as Sarah sat alone in her dimly lit living room, her stomach growling with hunger. Sarah had just moved to Hollowbrook and she hadn't made any friends yet. It was a lonely existence, and on that rainy night, she craved the comforting embrace of a warm meal. She picked up her phone and dialed the number for Hollowbrook Bites, the only food delivery service in town. As she placed her order for a pepperoni pizza, the voice on the other end of the line crackled with an eerie static. Sarah thought it was just a glitch in the system, but an unsettling feeling crept over her. An hour passed, and Sarah began to worry. Her pizza should have arrived by now. She picked up her phone and called the delivery service again. 
This time, the voice on the other end was distorted, almost inhuman. They're on their way, the voice said, before abruptly hanging up. Just as she put her phone down, the doorbell rang. Sarah jumped in her seat, startled by the sudden noise. She peered through the peephole and saw a figure standing on her porch. It was the delivery driver holding a dripping, wet pizza box. With trembling hands, Sarah opened the door. The driver was drenched, rainwater streaming down his face and soaking his uniform. He handed her the pizza box without saying a word and turned to leave. Wait, Sarah called after him. Aren't you going to take the payment? The driver stopped, his back still turned to her. Slowly, he raised his head, and Sarah gasped in horror. His face was twisted and contorted with hollow, empty eyes that seemed to penetrate her very soul. The driver's voice, when he finally spoke, was a sinister whisper. The payment has already been made. Sarah slammed the door shut, her heart pounding in her chest. She opened the pizza box, but what she found inside was not a pepperoni pizza. It was a grotesque, pulsating mass of flesh and bones, oozing with a foul, putrid odor. She screamed and dropped the box, backing away in terror. The doorbell rang again and again, each time more urgently, as if something sinister was trying to get in. With trembling hands, Sarah called the police. When they arrived, they found no trace of the delivery driver or the horrifying contents of the pizza box. It was as if they had never existed. From that day on, Sarah never ordered food delivery again. The legend of the cursed food delivery driver of Hollowbrook lived on, a chilling tale that would be whispered around campfires for generations to come. And in the dead of night, when the wind howled and the rain fell, the people of Hollowbrook would still hear the ominous ring of a doorbell, a reminder that some horrors never truly vanish.